Okay, so I have Shay, and as you can see, she needs to be groomed. Before I get started, I want to explain the tools that I'm going to use that I keep on hand. Groom Ninja, which is the little fine tooth comb. Some small scissors that have the round tip. This is called a Magna Carta. Just Google that and look for it on the web internet. I'm not sure where I got this and I do use this quite a bit. The rake has the teeth. These are stripping stones. This one is a dressed stone. This one is undressed. Either one works well. They're called Grey, it's from Greyhound and you can order them online from the Greyhound website. And I use these a lot thinning shears. So I always start off with the rake and I she's got a very thick crazy coat as you can see she's ready to be groomed. So I always start off with the rake with her because it grabs all that extra hair and takes it out in clumps. So that really helps thin it out. And I do this mainly on her neck because she's pretty thick around the neck area. Along her top line, because she's pretty thick here. And I'd use it a lot on her thighs, her rear butt area, because she's super thick back here. And I just brush it out. Keep combing until you don't see much that anymore. But this is usually what I do first with her. Every dog is different. I don't even use this tool on some of my dogs because they don't need it, but she does. It just makes it easier for me because the thickness of her hair, it's difficult to strip her. So this kind of gives me a little bit of a head start. And if you use your hand and pull the hair up against the flow of the hair, you can see she's just got a ton. She's got a lot of hair. Real nice thick coat on this little girl. <clears throat> Some spots appear to be a little bit thicker than others. And that's what I'll work on with this. And then I always go back and use my hand to go against the direction of the hair so I can see what's still standing out as being pretty thick. And that's where the thinning shears come in. If you notice, her neck is super thick. And I just come in and start thinning that out with these scissors, these thinning shears. And I don't really have a method, I just go for it. I let the dog kind of determine where I need to go. Every dog is different. She kind of tends to become looking like a lion because she's got a lot of hair on her, her neck. And I want her neck to look long and slender when I take her into the show ring. Then I use either the Groom Ninja, which is what similar to what you have, or this one, the Magna Carter, and I brush out that extra hair. It helps take out the hair that I cut. And I just keep doing this. And I'll even use this tool to go back up against the, the direction. If you notice there's a clump right here and she's super thick back here. So I'll use the thinning shears in those areas to help thin that hair out. through 
through and thin out the thicker spots. And then I use either with the group, like I said, either the Groom Ninja or the Magna Carter. Brush out that extra hair that got trimmed so you can see what kind of progress you're making. I always feel like I make no progress with this dog because she's just got tons and tons of hair. Stand up. Stand up, shake. And I just keep doing that. You don't want to go too close to the skin. I don't like to go unless I'm deciding just totally strip them down. But I like to go against every now and then just to see if I need to still keep cutting or thinning it out. I still see some clumps in this area. I'm going to cheat and use my thinning shears again. That little thing came out. Stand up. Take my brood ninja, brush it out. And there's already a ton of hair on the table. I don't know if you can tell that or not, but just the little bit that I've worked on her, I've already gotten lots of hair off. And once you get them down to a desired length, that's where this tool comes in, the stone. You can either use the dressed or the undressed. I always use these and I accidentally ordered the wrong ones. At one time they do exactly the same thing. They're just, one has a coating for your hands and the other doesn't. And that this is where we do the rolling of the coat. And you do that when you're done with everything else and you're ready to start taking off the uh, longer pieces with your fingers and you literally do as I said roll the coat you take the skin and you roll it and wherever you see long hair you use your thumb and you put your thumb the hair between your thumb and the tool and you literally pull those longer pieces out as you roll the coat and I go across the neck and work my way down and this takes a while but as you see it just comes right out. When they're ready to release, you'll know. I find those long pieces and grab it and pull. A lot of people use stripping knives. I don't like them. I prefer the stone, but it's basically the same technique. It's just not a stripping knife, it's a stone. I think it's easier on the dog and my and the coat as well. It doesn't rip the coat, it pulls. You're li literally pulling and not ripping. I tend to rip the hair with those knives and I don't like that. It takes me a couple of days to completely groom this dog. She's got a lot of hair and a lot of areas that need to be addressed. So I can't show you everything in one video. But this was just a quick little rundown of the, of the routine that I do with this one. She's got a lot of coat to take care of, but I just keep rolling and I just look and find the longer pieces and pull. And I do that until she looks nice and uniform as far as the length goes. You want to try to accentuate the neck, make it look long and slender. You want to show off their structure. She's got a lot of hair in her tail and her butt area. That takes a while to do. I'll do that in another video. I'm gonna fo I focus basically on her neck and shoulders. Then I work on her abdomen area. Then I hit the butt and the tail. And then the last thing I usually do is head and under her, on her belly area. That's usually the last. And I'll trim whatever I missed with those thinning shears. But again, brush against the hair. You can see those longer hairs and roll it and pull. And just keep doing that until you are satisfied with what you see.
And that's grooming in a nutshell. Hope I didn't totally overwhelm you.